Hi. Now in this video, we are going to talk about modifiers in Solidity. So if you remember, we have used require statement in the previous video, right? Now let us try to use the require statement again. Let me create one function by the name of F1 and let me make this public. We are not going to do anything with the state variable. And in this, I am simply doing require, for example, we are just checking whether true is equal to true or not. So this is just to you know, just for the demonstration purpose so that I can make you understand one important point about modifiers. So let's say true is not true. If something will be false, then we can simply do and then we will simply return some value from it. Okay. In the same way, let me copy this thing again. Let me paste it here like this. Let me name the change the name of these functions. Let's say I am returning some different values every time. F2 I am returning two. From F3, I'm returning three, and from F4, I'm returning four. Okay, let me save this. So if you will see that this is a like this is a good contract. Uh, F1 is returning us with one, F2 is returning us with two, F3 is returning us with three, and then F4 is returning us with four. But if you will see, we have a lot of repetition in this particular code, right? We are actually repeating this require statement again and again, right? We are actually repeating this require statement again and again. So what we can do, what we can do in order to avoid this repetition. So instead of using this require statement again and again, what we can do is we can use modifier. So I can do, I can create one modifier by writing this modify keyword. And then the name of this modifier, let's say the name of this modifier is true. Okay, definitely you can name this modifier, whatever name you want. And then simply this curly braces and now inside this modifier i will copy this thing inside this modifier like this and after that what i will do is i will have an underscore and semicolon like this and now what i can do is instead of using this require statement i can remove all these require statement from here okay and i can use this modifier name along with these functions i can have my modifier name here like this and now my function will behave just like before only now instead of using instead of rewriting the required statement again and again in all these function what i have done is i have used this modifier which has actually avoid the repetition of code in my particular contract in this particular contract right and we can check that as well so let's say for example i'm deploying this okay let's say i'm calling f1 f2 and f3 and f4 because definitely it is true for every condition so it is not throwing any error and that's why we are able to call this f1 f2 and f3 and f4 but let's say if i'm trying to change the value here if i'm trying to compare whether true is equal to false which is definitely false right it can never be equal to false then let me again deploy this and now if you will see when i will call this f1 function it will throw us an error because what will actually happen then we will call this f1 function it will again go to this require statement it will check whether true is equal to false which is actually false and then it will throw this error that true is not true let me call this f1 so here you can see that okay i think i haven't compiled this contract that was the problem sorry for that actually i should make it auto compile let me again deploy this guys sorry for that let me again call this f1 now you can see that it is throwing an error that transaction has been reverted to the initial state reason provided by the contract true is not let me call f2 again failed again failed again so this is how we actually use modifiers in order to avoid this repetition of code in solidity now definitely you must be wondering what is the use of this underscore here so it's simply what this actually this underscore is actually doing is it is simply copying the remaining code okay like from this f1 since we are using this is true with this f1 it will copy this line and it will paste this line here okay like this and now when we will call f1 it will check for this and then it will return this if this is true that's why we have this underscore so that we can paste the remaining code inside this underscore but you do not need to go in depth of this particular thing if you know how to use modifier that's more than enough so in the previous video we have seen how we can use modifiers in solidity right and now in this video, we will talk about how we can pass arguments to the modifier. So let's say if we talk about this particular function, in this function, if you will see, I'm passing one value A 
And this require statement is checking whether this a is an even number or not. So if it is an even number, then we will return true. And this, if this is a false, means if this is false, then we will return, we will throw this particular error that a is not even, right? Now let's say I want to use the same thing with the help of modifier. So what I can do is I can go here, I can write my modifier. Then my, the name of my modifier, let's say is even. And in this, since we are passing some value, so I will have a uint a like this. And then we will simply again cut this require statement here and we will paste it. Again, we will have this underscore and then semicolon. Now, since we are not using any require statement here, we need to use this modifier, right? So I will take this modifier, I will paste it here. Now, our work is not done. Because in the previous video, if you remember, we were not passing any kind of argument. But in this particular function, we are actually passing a as a value, right? So what we will do is we will simply write a here so that whatever value we are going to pass inside this function, that value will get passed to this modifier as well. And then this modifier will check whether the required statement is working or not. So let me compile this. I have some error. Let me check this error. Okay. So it is saying that. Okay, I have written, sorry guys, again, I have made this mistake. It should be pulled here, right? And then again, I made mistakes. So let me compile this. Now let me deploy this. Now let us check this. So let's say if I'm passing 12, which is an even number, so it will return true because this will pass. And then when this will pass, it will return this true statement. So here you can see that it is returning true. But let's say if I'm passing some odd number like one, this up and now let me call this f1 you will clearly see that it is throwing an error that a is even so this is how you use modifiers with an argument okay so if you have multiple arguments then definitely you can increase it okay just like your function and you can pass that particular argument to this modifier so i hope you enjoyed this video meet you soon in the next video hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video please click on that like button if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel because i am regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel to meet you soon in the next video till then take care bye bye and do not forget if you have any doubts please comment below okay